everyone. So nice to see you join me again this week. I'm Josie Lanzi. Welcome to Off the Hook, On the Play. It's a beautiful day here again in the sunshine state of Florida, so we're going to head offshore and sure to bring home the fresh catch of the day. I can't wait to find out what it is. Then we head back to the kitchen and create yet another Off the Hook recipe. So let's get fishing so we can get cooking. Let's kick it! Well, we're here and it's going to be time to get fishing. We threw our marker out there. We found this new spot last uh, week with some kind of ledge. So hopefully we'll do good today. So uh, we got plenty of bait now. We got plenty of pinfish and baby grunts, the usual sardine frozen and frozen squid. So uh, let's get fishing. So we just got here and uh, yeah, we got a water spot right there. Kind of hard to see here. Oh, yep, there it is. Well, we can say we've seen it all today. <laughs> and real, look at this fat grunt. It's the size of a snapper almost. You know we're going to keep this one. Nice start. Dropping real so far. Well, I'm going to send down a little penny here, a little pinfish, because uh, Brent had something really big and it cut his line. I mean, that, that pole was bent in half. Something big down there. Oop, we got one alive. <laughs> All right, it's going to go down. Yeah, I got the day. It's not too little, but it's certainly not big enough to keep. There it goes. Looking red of the day. This time I caught it. I think I'm going to measure that one. It looks like it could be short, but it's pretty close. Look how fat it is. Oh, nice grouper. Brent just got it. Check it out. Look at that huge hog snapper. You know those are good. Check it out. Check it out. I love it. You know you're putting that in the, co in the cooler. I'm going to throw them back. No, put it in cooler. Okay. Well, the wind is picking up and it looks like we have a few storms around us. We got one over here and then we got another one here. And then another one right here. There's still a few boats out here, so we're not alone, but... If they get any closer, we're going to have to uh, get started in and head back in. We're back in. We made it through all them storms, but we got good food in the cooler there. We got some white grunts, of course, but they're the big... And then we got that huge hogfish, which is from the snapper family, and it's fabulous. That Another off-the-hook recipe coming your way. What a great fishing day. We'll see you back in the kitchen. All right, everyone, we're back in the kitchen, and today's fresh catch of the day was our hogfish, which is also from the snapper family. It's a very delicate white fish that you're absolutely going to love if you ever get the chance to taste it. But like I always say, my recipes can always be substitute with any other white fish in this case. Today, I'm gonna to make for you hogfish with shrimp Newburgh. It's gonna be one, two, three easy, and you're gonna love this recipe idea. So let's get started. Okay, this is gonna be very easy and simple. Wanna season with a little sea salt. You wanna do this on both sides. And we're also gonna season it with a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. Just a tad bit, not too much. We want to taste that hogfish. Same thing on the other side. All right. Now we're also going to season the shrimp the same way. Sea salt and a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. All right, I have here in a pan one tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of butter. We're now going to add our hogfish and cook the hogfish five minutes on the first side or until you see it turning white all the way around and you know then it's time to turn it. Okay, in this small saucepan, we're gonna create the Newberg part of the recipe by starting with a bechamel sauce. I have two tablespoons of butter. We're gonna add two tablespoons of flour. I'm gonna whisk this together and let it cook for just about a minute or so. We wanna cook off that flour taste. Okay, to continue our bechamel sauce, you want to add a cup of milk. You want to whisk this all together well. And then we're going to add a pinch of paprika, 
a pinch of red cayenne pepper, a pinch of nutmeg, some sherry, and you want to whisk this until it thickens into this beautiful Newberg sauce. It'll take approximately uh, a little bit less than five minutes. All right, it's been approximately five minutes. It's turning quite white around the edge. It's time to turn the fish. Wow, look at that. It's beautiful. Golden in color on the crust. Perfect. Now, in the last few minutes of cooking is when you're going to add your shrimp that I've also seasoned in seasoned salt and also a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. All of it in the same pan. Cook until it's well cooked through. Add a couple more ingredients to the sauce. A pinch of sea salt, cracked black pepper. Secret ingredients, not so secret anymore. Half a cup of chopped tomatoes. And a tablespoon and a half or so of chopped chive. All right, mix all together. And it's time to serve. All right, everyone. I have our beautiful hogfish fully cooked here and our seasoned shrimp. And we also have our beautiful Newberg special sauce as I add tomatoes to mine instead of just the tomato paste to get some nice, fresh taste into that. So it's now time to plate it. All right, I have a beautiful plate here. It's time to plate our beautiful hogfish and shrimp Newberg place a piece of fish right here in the middle of the plate. Then you want to go ahead and take your Newberg sauce and just scoop like a tablespoonful on top. Maybe a little more if you like it really saucy. Alright, and on the very top of that I just like to stack just a few shrimp. Sprinkle a few more chives and that's totally optional, mostly for the looks, but it looks very pretty. Brings out all the color in that beautiful Newberg sauce. And voila, yet another off the hook recipe idea. My hogfish with shrimp Newberg. Bon appétit. Well, it was another great fishing adventure. I had a blast and I sure hope you did too. I hope you enjoy that recipe today. So I'll see you guys here next week for another off the hook on the plate recipe.